Why do I think Islamic movements shouldn't be involved in politics? One answer, one word, Egypt. Islam was sent to shape societies and not to exist on the fringe of society. A classic example of what happens when you try and impose the rulings of Islam on a community that's not ready for it. Their survival as movements, as Islamic movements, depends on their participation in the political process. You can't impose leadership upon people when they're not ready to accept it. Those who advocate otherwise are out of touch with the reality. Shaitan al-Rajim, was siyasa.